God bless everybody today. It is March 12th, 2024, and we have hot, had a hot CPI print. This is going to change the markets. It's going to change everything out here. Things are starting to break down, guys. I'm telling you, you need to pay attention to what's happening out here. So they've been telling us for weeks now that it's deflation or deflationary things are happening core cpi is coming down everything's blue sky soft pill landings maybe no landing at all joe by dumbnomics is working and all this is beautiful out here and i've been telling you for a while it's broken and it is broken look what just happened core cpi comes in hot this is bad. That means we're having a real reacceleration of inflation, and Jay Powell is not going to be able to lower rates. Actually, they're going to cut their dot plot down to where they probably aren't going to raise more than maybe twice now in the next year, you know, up to the end of this year. And in my opinion, if it keeps raising, they won't rate they won't be able to cut rates at all, and that's going to then send the markets into a nightmare. But this CPI print is bad, and Joey Bidenomics is not working, okay? They cannot print bonds and throw all this kind of liquidity out there, throw a $7.3 trillion budget at you, and expect this to turn out good. So what happened? Gas prices. I'm talking about that. Why? Because fuel's moving up. So let's go to a six-month chart. Guys, this stuff's not that hard to track. It's really not that hard, and they pay these people way too much money to be wrong, okay? And most of these guys are getting it wrong because they haven't been here more than 10 or 15 years, maybe 20, which doesn't give them the depth to look back in history 40, 50 years like I've been in here and tell you guys that it broke back in the 70s for a reason, and we had fuel lines and all kinds of stuff going on here, stagflation, everything. Look, you're moving back into this room, okay? Look, in the last six months, it's gone down, but look, fuel went up to 95, and then it dropped. So Joey's taking credit for this drop, okay? This is a geopolitical nightmare also in the Red Sea that's occurring because you're getting supply cuts and all kinds of stuff going on. Um, they've actually damaged some ships. Shipping's taken longer. Insurance is more. But now look what's happened. You've gone from like a 73.24 all the way back up to 81.97. And if this pops again, because you got another geopolitical, geopolitical issue which i'm going to get ready to show you at the end of this video is going to get ready to happen as we mock into the next month this is going to really pop okay and everything that you pay for that matters your fuel your housing all this stuff is starting to move up your rent's moving up um everything's moving up all your loans are moving up your credit cards are moving up everything and, and this is going to reflect in what i'm going to show you here but the main reason is it's all about fuel at this point because that then accelerates. If you look at the price at the pump, we've gone up 40, 50 cents in the last few weeks, month. Why? Because fuel's moving up and that's forcing inflation. And I don't know why you can't see that. All you got to do is watch fuel prices and you would know that this is coming. Okay, so what, what are they looking at? Are they just lying to you? Because... They're not giving you the, the information you need to know out here. So what happened? I'm going to give you the whole spectrum real quick. It's going to be a quick video, okay? So what happens? CPI goes in hot. Metals go up. Normal thing. Okay, they came down because the markets were expecting CPI to come in low, okay? Didn't happen. Told you it wasn't going to happen. You're walking into a third seal nightmare here soon, guys. With a potential B system change on April 20th, as you see a signing of a tree before 1260 days, you get to feast the trumpets, as I've shown you on these charts. Look at the pop. That's what I mean. If you're going to invest, and I'm not a financial investor or advisor here, guys, you're going to invest in anything, this is probably the deal. This is really the deal. 
if you really want to look at something you know it's not a good day to invest because you should have hit the bottom or you should have bought it back when i told you when it was like 12 17 dollars and look where you'd be now look metals are going to pop when this thing crashes okay it's just the way it works and look at your dispersion you're at 2461 to $2,200 basically, which means if you purchase silver to gold, you have a massive dispersion. When this goes back from, and it's like what, you know, maybe 80, 90 to 1 here. I don't know. I've done the calculation. I figure it out. When this pops and X is up by 4 and then comes back to normality with gold, this is going to be worth $100 when this is basically going to be, you know, worth more, but it's good. This is going to X up much faster than this because they're depressing this. Okay. And look, it's already, you can see that because you've got a pop here. Anyway, if you're investing right now, that's probably the way to go. I'm just saying, and you want to take the physical delivery of the metals. Don't put them in a place and let somebody hold them so you can't ever get to them. That's just stupid. Okay, take the metals and secure them somehow, not even in a bank, though, because bank safety deposit box, if bank goes under, guess what? They have your assets, so don't go down that road. So look at this. You got a pop on the two-year bond, okay? Uh, it, it went down, okay, but then look, it went back up. So you can't, look, the two is melting up still. The 10 is melting up still, okay? It went down because all the numbers look good. The markets were thinking everything's fine. Now we're going to see a meld up again because the core came in hot. Super core is in the same boat, okay? And I keep telling you, Jay has not helped the situation. Core is still 4. It's been at 4 since he started playing this game and trying to change the rates okay so when you have done all this massive increase of rates in the last two years have an inverted or had an inverted curve for two years and you look at the numbers and you have not improved your core from two years ago when he started this process He's doing a terrible job. I'm sorry. He hasn't accomplished a thing. And it's getting worse. While he sit there just in the last few days and told us how it was going to probably work out really well. Okay. Now I want to show you something else here. I'm just going to blow through some charts. Okay. Look at this chart. You've come down. You started to watch this inversion um, get worse. Then it started going up, it came down, went back up. Now look, it's starting to in, uninvert. How do I know that? Okay, if you draw a line from here up and you draw a line here over, you've got a trench moving this way, okay? It's that simple. When you have a trench that moves this way and you got a line this way, and I'm not going to draw this out, and you got a line down here, It'll either fall out through support, or in this case, because the trend is up, it will fall up. And once this uninverts, it breaks. Okay, I've been explaining to you this. In history, when you get an inversions, and this is the longest inversion we've had. Look at the, look at the gap here, guys. When this uninverts, it's going to hurt. And the liquidity they put in here is massive, okay? So you need to understand that you're probably going to get a pop on Bitcoin because all the other markets are fleeing from the equity. Dow's got to be down. I haven't looked at Dow. Let's look at Dow real quick. Well, the markets are basically flat, which is actually a little surprising due to this terrible print. I'm expecting them to go negative before the end of the day. You've got the Dow up marginally at 0.12 you got s p well there you go s p's down and if you look at tech they're down too so you know basically overall the markets are moving down and if they come out and say anything the fed talks at all and they have to justify why fed 
came out, Powell came out and said how this was beautiful and now it's reversing on them and they're going to have to counteract this so the markets aren't going through turmoil. Um, good luck, Jay. You got your work cut out for you. I'm just saying this is probably not going to turn out well for you. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is we've had a massive ramp up overnight in Israel and Hezbollah and Hezbollah starting to throw down some heavy barrages and I keep talking about this build up into the 23rd and all this stuff coming on guys you got to look at the charts you got to understand where you are in time you need to understand that the markets are getting ready to break okay if the markets start to break then they're going to watch a run on these banks and you're going to then see a massive outflow out of these banks and the banks are going to start to collapse and they're going to start to take everything that you've invested in your life because the banks have invested everything into bonds while Janet's printing 1.5 trillion of them to keep up with the gap but now she's printing a hundred trillion dollars in bonds every hundred days or a trillion dollars in bond every hundred days. A trillion dollars in bond every hundred days. That is approximately $3.5 trillion in physical bonds are printing out of thin air to keep their economy floating while Joe Biden throws a $7.3 trillion budget down on you and tells you how he's got a control method over this somehow. Look, I'm passionate about this because you guys need to understand i'm i'm in a pretty good place myself because i'm getting ready for it i've diversified i've done everything i can to get ready for the nightmare are you <laughs> if you haven't you need to you got about a month so you need to start thinking about that and i'm not going to tell you what to do and i'm not a financial advisor but you need to think about your portfolio if you even have one and if you don't, silver is pretty cheap. It could 4X up soon. It might be an option. I'm not a financial advisor, but that would be my probably my go-to because in the time of history, metals have never gone down. You can go back in the history of metals and realize they've gone from barely anything to almost $2,200. You get to a debt limit where we've shown you the, the debt clock. It goes to $45 trillion. You go to 3000 it's a trend guys it's a trench up and it's not coming down that one i'm pretty sure is going to shoot through resistance and go up not go through support and go down okay it may have a temporary down but there there was always a trend up there so god bless everybody i just want to bring this report things are bad out here guys i'm i'm warning you get ready the ride's getting ready to break so god bless have a good night